When creating uh, uh, angled walls, like a 45 degree wall, I like to use a triangle in the corner to, for my wall. And with the tools that we have on this page, you can make any size you want. Just put in the dimension here and it will do it. If it's an odd angle, we have a tool you can put in the angle and the distance of the hypothesis of, the, of your triangle. So I put that in. Then we want to put in the um, spacers, which we already have made for you. You can download them. I like to use the floor plan. This one goes over here. And we need to rotate that 45 degrees. So it is rotated. Hold down the shift key. Come in. Push it against the back wall. Ah, we did nicely. Same thing here. Push it right in. Now I'm going to hold down my shift key and I'm going to group these so I can rotate them. Because I find it works much better if you rotate this. Because if it's going straight left to right, it's much easier to put the, the other cabinets in. And I want to put in a two-door base cabinet, put it in here. Now, if I were making ready-mades, I would zoom in and put in my spacers. Um, but in this particular case, I'm going to do a custom cabinet. And I just stretch it, make sure it's over. Stretch it as far as it'll go, and I'm done. Double click on it. Go to Dimension. Control C because I want to change the name of my cabinet to the size of the of the cabinet. Click apply and now I am going to group it. And I'm going to rotate it 45 degrees, put it back in the corner. Do my perspective. And as you can see, we're done. Next thing to do would be the upper cabinets. Uh, I'll leave, let you do that yourself. This is Ted Knudsen with Pro100USA.com.